Now, Kenyans could start contributing to the social health authority programs by March this year. The Ministry of Health has set in motion a series of events to fast-track formulation and approval of regulation that will culminate in the operalization of the health authority and the health funds. Public participation for the authority commences tomorrow. Brenda Wanga has more. In the wake of the lifting of the court orders against implementation of the Social Health Insurance Act 2023, the Ministry of Health has set the ball rolling with the opening up the space for public participation on the regulations that will guide the implementation of the Act. In a statement, Health CS Susan Nahomicha is asking members of the public to present their views on the two sets of regulations, either through written memoranda or through physical and virtual meetings that will be held for this purpose. The ministry is seeking views on the Social Health Insurance General Regulations 2024, which will provide for the implementation of the Primary Health Care Fund, the Social Health Insurance Fund, and the Emergency Chronic and Critical Illness Fund, and the Social Health Insurance Dispute Resolution Tribunal Regulations 2024. The public is also expected to give their views on the draft regulatory impact statement. The regulations amended to address the matters that landed the ministry in court, which now state that every person living in Kenya will be required to register as a member of the Social Health Insurance Fund for purposes of sub-regulation. This registration will begin 90 days after the regulations come into force, entitling every person living in Kenya to access health care services under the primary health care fund. Fund. We have worked with the team, Your Excellency. Now we are clear on what is the benefit as soon as you make your payment, what is it that you are entitled to. The new regulations have maintained the deductions for salaried employees at 2.75% per month, while unsalaried households will pay 2.75% of their income per year based on the assessment of their status through the means testing instruments that take into account housing characteristics, access to basic services, household composition and other social economic aspects of the households under review. The least amount payable to the fund will be 300 shillings. The collections will be made through the CS for Treasury at the national level and the CEC for Treasury activities at the county level. The regulations do not address the issue of capping of contributions and is one of the issues that the public will be expected to give their views on in the next three weeks. <laughs> The ministry will hope to compile and finalize the analysis of the feedback from the public, prepare a report on the same, and present it for approval from both the National Assembly and the Senate Health Committee before gazettement and finally implementation of the same. This process is estimated to be concluded before March this year, and only then will the government begin deducting the contributions from Kenyans to finance this universal health care program under the Social Health Insurance Act. Brenda Wanga, Citizen TV.